What's going on everybody? Doc from Average Gamer Guys back yet again into some more Rocket League action and today for you Oh boy, oh boy, we're starting our Season 11 Competitive Reset Doubles Grind. So I'm going to do the shameless plugs up front and then we'll jump into the action, enjoy the gameplay. We'll talk about it a little bit and really I want to get your reactions and uh, how, how everybody's doing as far as Season 11 is concerned. But before we get into that, again, want to talk through and want to do our plugs as our beautiful teammate here gets us a one goal lead with 16 seconds at the start of the match. Uh, welcome to the channel. If you're new, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Check out the rest of the stuff that we got on the channel. A lot of crate openings, not great, very rare trade-ups, a whole bunch of other stuff, trading tips. So if you're looking for any of that stuff, consider uh, our channel. Just peek around, see what we got. We got a ton of videos up for you guys to enjoy, uh, plus a little bit of content for some other games as well. So uh, with all that being said, if you are new, like, comment, subscribe really does help us out. Uh, you know, just uh, we love chatting with you guys in the comments, so make sure to drop a comment down below. Let us know how your day is going. Let us know what you think, uh, so on and so forth. In addition to that, all the links for everything are down in the description below. So feel free to join us on our Discord, our Twitter, and our Twitch. Uh, all that good stuff. Uh, that's where we do a lot of our updates, especially when we're doing streams. We're streaming a lot more on Twitch, so giving us a follow over there is really very much appreciated. And we'll keep you in the know whenever we do decide to go live. Uh, which we're doing a, a little bit more regularly uh, as of late. So be sure to hop in, check us out, and uh, hopefully we get to chat with you in real time. So all that stuff being said, if you've, if you've been around a while, you know what's going on. We're jumping into our Ranked Doubles Season 11 Soft Reset Games. And uh, if you remember m me doing this last season, my... Uh, my my reset games they uh they didn't go so good <laughs> and we're having a little bit more of that here for this season so i have played all 10 this is just the the, the matchups if you will this is just the snippets of the games uh that i ended up actually winning uh so i will tell you up front we ended up going i think four and six uh for our uh, our season 11 reset games which again it's a little demotivating. I'm gonna be really honest with you. It was, uh, it was not good. I was not happy with it. Uh, I think my first like four games, I ended up losing, and uh, I did the one thing that I told myself to not do in Rocket League, which is as soon as you start losing, as soon as you're not feeling it, or you're just not meshing with teammates, you gotta just stop, right? Maybe give it one more game just to see if it's a kind of a fluke game. But beyond that, it's uh, you gotta just you gotta just let it be. And unlike that shot, which was nice, and everybody missed, so it gave me an opportunity, I did not stop playing. <laughs> uh, and I, uh, I wholeheartedly regret it. Uh, not really. We ended up pulling it out. We, we did pretty well in the last couple of games uh, that I ended up playing. I did it in two play sessions, as I did the last time. Uh, but I will tell you, I think I played six games first, and I want to say I only won. I think I only won one of those games. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, and that was not good. This game was totally different. I don't know, we meshed well, we had good pressure. Um, I was obviously hitting some shots into the back of the net, which is where we want to put them. Uh, I felt like we kind of we kind of just jived well, me and my teammate. And uh, I mean, that'll happen from time to time. I'm totally solo, solo queuing all these. Uh, but it's, it's, it's frustrating for me uh, because again, I was really happy with where I was able to get to uh, on uh, uh, last season, the end of last season, I think we finished uh, in doubles, diamond one, like div three or div four. Uh, so I was pretty proud of that, especially solo queue in the games. Uh, you know, that was a that was a good accomplishment for me. Uh, we ended up getting our champ rewards in threes, which was really really awesome. Um, so I felt like my play was just it was it was working well. Shots like this were dropping in. Uh, I felt you know confident with this hit. I liked it. It was good good placement away from that guy it gives us our first win which was a forfeit <laughs> um but i'll tell you it was just it's demotivating to get started like this but w the one thing i can say is i'm more motivated than i was at the beginning of last season when this happened uh for the sole fact that um really i i do want to improve and i felt like my games improved and this was just a, a bad set of games we had we did get it on a little bit of a streak there 
uh, to get things rolling and uh, as we finished out these and that's kind of what's keeping me driving forward so I'm hopeful uh, and uh, I'm trying to stay positive with it I do really really want to focus on my competitive play this season and uh, just see what we can do see what we can do in doubles see what we can do in triples really if you guys know and been around the channel a little while you know that I'm really pushing for uh, some high ranks in snow day as well definitely my favorite extra game mode uh, so we'll see what uh, we'll see what we can't turn up there so these wins were definitely not without their sweaty moments that's for sure and uh, and I don't mean sweaty as in good play I mean sweaty as in I can't believe we won some of them um, uh, felt really lucky with that this is a nice little pass play that I wish uh, we could have converted here but um, uh, again I think the key here is just going to be consistency uh, speed good rotations that's really the key especially solo queue in these I have to I realize that sometimes I have to I have to be uh, the, a little bit more of the aggressor I'm a little upset with my teammate here I understand what he was trying to do he probably wasn't sure if that was gonna be on or not uh, that was definitely going to be a goal <laughs> and uh, and that's okay he ends up saving it which I'm a little upset about uh, if I'm if I'm being honest but uh, and then I bricked the shot I absolutely bricked the shot I could have easily made that shot and scored that um, and that's something that I you know again that's the consistency side of things uh, that I'm gonna have to be I have to put those in the back of the net uh, here's how I feel about doubles this is just my philosophy this is just where my my mental mindset goes uh, but I feel like in a doubles game if you can get up by two if you can hold the two goal lead uh, especially as it gets near the mid, mid of the game um, I, I usually feel pretty confident at that point uh, here's another shot that I 100% need to put on uh, and can't so I struggled a little bit in this game uh, feeling confident because the, the shots were becoming available uh, which means for me a couple of things one uh, I felt like the rotations weren't bad we weren't really stepping on each other too much we we're kinda trying to look for some pass play opportunities so I appreciate our teammate about that uh, in addition, those shot opportunities were coming up, uh, I think, for two reasons. One, speed of play. I think we're doing a pretty good job of, uh, of staying up and uh, getting some good pressure on the ball, making good, making good pressure plays uh, and some good challenges. And then in addition to that, uh, when you do that, it's going to make them get out of sorts, them, the opposing team, uh, I feel like kind of uh, you know they get out of the rotation a little bit which then opens up uh, opportunities to make some of those easier shots so those two things as we got towards the midpoint of this game were making me say okay there's opportunities this is a definitely a winnable team uh, my teammates doing his part he obviously scores that nice goal I wasn't sure what to do here um, I probably had time I did not realize this because of the demo but I probably had time because these both of these guys push so aggressively towards this ball I might have actually had time to get underneath that ball and try to pop it out however that guy is on the far side uh, of the post so uh, I, I even if I do pop it out there's a good chance he puts it back I thought maybe coming off the wall trying to get underneath it uh, and pushing it might have worked unfortunately it did not so I ended up I ended up own goaling it but that's probably going in anyways it was a good shot um, we make a nice little touch here off this kind of a little bit of a miscue uh, on the teammate he kind of gives me a, a little bit of a little bump pass here and again just speed of play right there he has a he makes a decent recovery that was honestly almost a really really good save that guy made the right move I think if he double jumps right there uh, he actually probably saves that ball um, but uh, ends up working out we just put a good shot on goal and uh, and we get rewarded for it then again uh, here just some good rotations I was kind of caught in a corner there uh, and I and that kind of happens tends to happen for me a little bit with spawns uh, from time to time where I feel like I need to be up and aggressive on the ball especially without boost to kind of help our teammate uh, but he played it well and uh, and was able to make the adjustment um, teammate going for some stuff here I'm not saying he shouldn't have I definitely probably should not have gone for that but again a good rotation a, a pass if I will <laughs> a pass attempted pass to myself ends up turning in a nice shot that guy gives me on the on the back wall a whole lot of credit that I was gonna be able to hit that um, which I kind of pulled the defender away and then here's kind of what I'm talking about so we got a minute 10 left we're up by two I feel like again we've been rotating pretty well we haven't had too much pressure on our net not a ton 
That was a great demo, honestly, by my teammate. Uh, in the future, I need to try to put that shot on goal, I think. Uh, missed a little opportunity there. I don't mind the aggression uh, being up by two goals, especially considering the fact that uh, if we put that one in, it's definitely the dagger. I feel like I get a good bump here, but I'm not sure. I might have ended up actually bumping that guy into my teammate because uh, I feel like his rotation was coming up to bring him to that ball. And, uh, and that's okay, though. So, again, we're kind of maintaining the pressure on their goal. We're maintaining some of the... Uh, um, you know, just some of the consistency on the shots. We're having really good clears. That's the other thing uh, that I've noticed with doubles, especially uh, at this rank, is good clears are really critical. That it, that gives you the time to kind of reset, gives you the time to get back into position, and uh, and I feel like make some make some decent plays here. So uh, go up for a little bit of a challenge here at this point. Feel like we've got this one in the bag pretty well. Our teammate will pull it down, and we'll take the two goal win. So that chalked it up. This actually match right here was this was the first match of my second set of playthroughs uh, where we string together a couple of wins. So we'll finish up with this match here and this win, and uh, and we'll see what we ended up getting ranked. I will tell you I was disappointed, <laughs> um, but we will come back from it and we'll continue to grind. I'm not super far off from where I was. We got a little bit of work to do, uh, which I'm okay with. Again, I deserve. Where I'm being put, especially with the performance in the first set uh, of 10 games, I'm just looking forward to trying to grind up a little bit, uh, get myself well-situated. Uh, again, my hope is to get well-situated into diamond. I don't think this season I'll get champ uh, in doubles. Uh, I, I, that would be a very lofty goal for me. Um, however, that being said, um, I think uh, I think it would be nice, but I think somewhere in the, in the, in the upper tiers of diamond, uh, you know, Diamond 2, uh, you know, Div 3 or 4, I would be really happy with. Uh, especially if I could f feel like I was really well placed uh, and was being competitive in the games. Understanding I'm not going to win them all, uh, but hopefully can be at least competitive there. And I think that's really critical for me looking at my progression in the game is a lot of it is based on feel as well. And I'm sure a lot of you guys out there, especially if you've been playing this game for a while, kind of have a similar feeling. Right where um, you know I definitely know I get into games uh, and I definitely know times where I'm like totally outclassed. Right, like the skill level, the speed, just what they're able to do, their consistency, um, their ability to read the ball, uh, all that stuff. Solid shot. Uh, all that stuff. Um, it's it's easy for me to tell. So that's what I'm really hoping. I think for this season is find myself uh, a good place. Obviously, rank up, continue to move up. Um, but feel like I'm progressing as as my rank is increasing and feel like again I'm being competitive in every game um, That's kind of how I felt these last couple games here, uh, but what's unfortunate is that uh, Is that this was a little bit lower than where I would have felt like I should have been placed right? Um, and uh, playing playing some decent skilled uh, opponents had some decent skilled teammates here um, We had this teammate I will say was a little bit more uh, probably on the aggressive side and that's the other thing that I really need to be cognizant of and pay attention to especially solo queuing these doubles is just the play style of my teammate if my teammate likes to charge and likes to be the one to attack that's totally fine with me I can play a little bit more defensive play style set up passes try to find opportunities uh, where they go in for some shots and things like that which then give me some opportunities uh, that one right there was one of them that I wish I would have uh, attacked on, but I gave my, my teammate a little bit of credit to be able to hit that. Um, so I think that's the other thing that I really need to pay attention to. And usually for me, it takes me, it really depends. If they're super, super aggressive, it's easy to tell. Uh, but usually it takes me probably about a minute of game time to kind of make that assessment and see how they're going to be. This guy honestly tries to get the bump on me and... Uh, and unfortunately it does not work now here is a shot again consistency being key I need to be able to hit that if I hit that again that's an easy goal I easily beat that guy uh, with that touch and that's that would have been really nice and then I botched the follow-up here uh, got good height distance I would say uh, just needed to make an adjustment either do kind of a half flip or a rotation uh, in uh, in the air uh, or 
go about and actually just get my nose down uh, and be able to hit it. So here's a little bit of miscues, but some really good defensive uh, and recovery play. That's the other thing that I've been really trying to focus on. Uh, and I know I talked about this as I kind of finished up the last season, uh, but recovery is so critical, uh, especially as, as you get into these higher ranks. And those of you that are there absolutely know this. Uh, your recoveries are absolutely critical. Your ability to either stay in a play or recover and get back into a play, um, you know, off of a shot or off of a bump uh, or even just off of a, a whiff, honestly, which I do a lot, uh, I think is really, really key. So uh, that's just another focus for me. Continue improvement for the aerial game. Uh, and then, uh, again, consistency and positioning. Uh, like I said, I don't ever think I'll be a, a really gifted mechanical player. Uh, you know, I want to have some good mechanical skill. I want to be, again, be confident in what I'm doing and uh, be confident in little shots like this. However, with all that being said, I don't know that I'll ever have a ton of mechanical skill um, for this game. I, I'm just being really honest with myself, but I think I can really truly make up for that with just, again, consistency of play, good decision making, uh, and then good rotations and just good, good positioning on the field for myself comparative to the opposing team, what they can do, uh, as well as my teammate. So, uh, again, we got our two-goal lead here. So, minute 20 left. At this point, I scored that that uh, that second go-ahead goal, and that's really, really where we want to be. Now, I will tell you, my play style probably gets a little bit more defensive. Uh, not a whole ton. Uh, but with that two-goal lead, I'm not going to take as many opportunities there uh, to try to continue to press that lead because, again, I feel like with a minute left uh, and uh, if, if we're having some good rotations, we can keep a little bit of pressure up on the ball. Uh, I feel like we make it pretty difficult for a team to come back from that deficit, especially as the time is winding down. Now, with that being said, um, continued good play is key. Uh, made a, a nice couple of little touches here. I honestly was super proud of that move right there to get that pass to the teammate. He wasn't able to convert it, which is totally okay. He was in a good spot. I think he had actually got a, a touch on it. It just was not able to get in and get can, uh, get into the back of the net, which is totally all right. But here's what we ended up doing. Uh, unfortunately, they do, score, they do score again with 11 seconds left. I was a little bit out of position here, but this was a, honestly a really good pass. Uh, not a bad challenge by our teammate uh, to get him in a position before he has really good control of the ball. Uh, so I'm not, I, I think that was a fine play. It just ended up in a 50-50 that made a perfect pass. And, uh, and his teammate was in a really, really good position to make a play on it. Uh, but we will take down the seconds here. We'll end up taking a 3-2 victory. Again, this was, this was the last game uh, of, our, uh, of our Season 11 starting placement matches we got through our soft reset we ended up making it uh into platinum three i want to say division three we'll see here in just a second after we get this spicy level up on our rocket pass and we get uh so i think some paragon white <laughs> certified generators uh but we finish off our bronze wins which is really nice um but we go plat three div three so again not totally far out of it i think i could probably play we can string together one or two more wins. I'll probably be able to get either in a Division Four or up into Diamond One, uh, which is again not far from where we finished. Uh, we still had some diamonds on the team. Had a Diamond player on my team, uh, a Diamond Two player on their team. Uh, so again, uh, we're right up in the mix of that. But uh, really interested to hear what you guys think and uh, to hear how it's progressing for you guys. I know a couple of our uh, supporters and fans out there and subscribers. Uh, have hit some achievements already and really looking forward to hearing what the rest of you guys have to share as well so as as always we'll continue the series i've been doc from average gaming guys thank you so much for watching we'll catch you in the next one peace